Hello there everybody and welcome. I hope today we're not gonna see what happened yesterday. And we do have tonight Ulysse going ahead uh, with uh, Ali Demo Highlands and I gotta say there was a bit of a mix up with the schedules. It looks like uh, HOH needed to play 12 plus and we did have uh, that game in our schedule but um, something happened around like one hour and a half ago or something and they needed to switch uh, to another game because 12 plus could not make it today. So they did choose to uh, play with uh, Ulysse and now we do see them uh, starting up in the chat over here, the pregame bands. But I gotta say it looks like we are still missing one player from Ali Demo Highlands. I don't know even who he is actually I was taking a look at the chat the voice comms and he's not there and so I have no idea what's going on anyway uh, I do want to say hello to everybody and uh, while we get this going the busy good evening said and welcome I hope you uh, liked um, I will see the video over there with the patch notes Colorado also good evening sir nice ideas over there with uh, the uh, how to say the salsa so yeah i mean i still uh, am, uh, i gotta say i'm not a very big fan of sour cream but it's still good in some uh cases so i it's hard for me to actually you know put it somewhere you know like nail it somewhere ramley man um hello there sir and uh, welcome good evening i did also notice old triangle good evening sir and welcome Whoa, it's more about the texture than the taste. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, nice. We're still talking about sour cream. Uh, Linda, hello there, ma'am, and uh, welcome. Josh TNP, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome, welcome. I did also notice uh, over here, Bomber Mickey, and good evening, sir, and thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. I hope you're going to have a good time with me tonight. Now, uh, we do have also Moonstrath picking up that first promotion and writing first in the channel. Hello there, sir, and thank you so much for, um, for being there. I also see on uh, YouTube. Good evening, sir, and welcome from a 12. Good and up in my head. And uh, welcome, 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 sir. Uh, looking at the chat, it uh, looks like uh, we do have a few uh, wrong models over here. Uh, well, it's the normal Shunzu, I would say. Uh, we did have, uh, unfortunately, quite a few times him uh, dropping from the games. It is what it is. And I do want to take a look at what did they pre-game ban. They did take out Maya and uh, Gilga with Ptolemy uh, coming up from uh, Team Ulysse, while Manuji from HOH is going to take out Scotland. Okay, okay. I mean, definitely there's quite a bit of a discussion around Gilga, for example, right now. <laughs> Uh, Sumeria is under fire in the BBG channels and we do need to see what's uh, gonna happen if uh, he's uh, gonna keep his bonus or not especially with the Temenanki change over there well yeah yeah not everybody took it uh, well you know the Temenanki change over there it is what it is anyway um, I would imagine with uh, so many changes and uh, quite a few, I would say, controversial changes, as in uh, totally out of the box uh, changes that um, uh, weren't really discussed or presented beforehand, I would imagine uh, yeah, there's going to be quite a few discussions over there. I hope it's not going to get too heated. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, uh, especially when there's a uh, passion in the middle over there, the discussions can actually get quite heated. It is what it is, man. I still remember the discussion around one single foot point. <laughs> I'm just saying, when you take out uh, that food point from Temple of Artemis, oh, mm, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, extra science from floodplains without fires. Yeah, oh, oh uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, that that seems OP, a bit OP to me. Yeah, I, I don't know why you did that. You know. <laughs> anyway, I, I hope you know I'm kidding. I do hope uh, they're gonna end up with a pretty good version, and that's uh, the reasoning for a beta, right? You do want to uh, get some testing done. You do want to see the players uh, 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 trying everything out and uh, seeing uh, what is uh, actually happening in reality versus their own opinion of what will happen. Uh, quite a few things that actually of course about this game is uh, you do have to adapt to the land as much as possible and a lot of the times uh, you can um you, know, you can uh, adapt around uh, so many uh, things that are happening in the game does this mean japan cannot use samurais for support no no he cannot i don't think so i don't think so yeah no more support bonus on those units i think it means yeah no more support bonus on those uh, naval units it is what it is the toy is sacred i mean that's a very good question Where, oh oh the temple of artemis i was thinking about the toy the unit uh, and then my mind flew off uh, to does it actually give me no i don't think it gives a support bonus i don't think it gives it anymore like no unit no land unit should give a support bonus as far as i understand now uh, they are i mean they are implementing this i'm actually curious if uh, every one of those um um 
you know to say changes will uh, go through because uh, that's also something that has happened before a lot of the times the changes uh, do go through this beta stage and sometimes they do go in sometimes they do not most of the time they do go in i mean you know it's no uh with a few changes uh, sometimes there are a few changes hello there and uh, good day honey dave how are you doing sir today uh, yesterday game finished 10 28 yeah but so almost you we did have uh, quite a bit of a discussion yesterday well quite a bit of a discussion quite a few problems i would say yesterday technical issues uh, with uh, one of the players but anyway it's uh, it, now hopefully it's gonna be fine we do have uh, a very suspicious draft being called out here uh sandro games did not click the correct button and uh, it does seem like he's putting his uh, through a only six ban leader phase um as you can see he is uh oh my god okay okay so he has a button over here but unfortunately i don't think i can show him and does have a, a button right with the draft type but anyway mm, it is what it is uh, i guess uh hopefully he's gonna figure it out Ban maps, ban six leaders, pick uh, leaders one by one. Uh, well, uh, that's the problem. He needs a ban maps, a ban uh, ten leaders, and then pick leaders one by one. It's a different draft. Very, very suspicious draft over here, as uh, Rom Rom is calling out. I do want to say on one side, we do have HOH showing up today with Sandro Games, Manuji uh, with Mr. Toes and somebody that must not be named. And we do have uh, also Leech with Rom Rom, Shun Tzu and Historia for uh, Team Ulysse. And uh, wait, wait, is this, this, uh, this might happen? Are we actually waiting for somebody or... Uh okay there we go there we go there we go okay there we go we got the map pool choices okay he found the button he found the button sandro games just found the button and pressed it okay it's fine map pool choices here we got continents and islands lakes primordial seven seas rich islands uh, terra map uh, which is a stand-in for uh, pangea uh, classic ridges we do have uh, tilted axis and highlands of course available for them and uh, slowly slowly they're gonna take these off and we're gonna need to see what they're gonna end up on it looks like immediately they take, take out not only pangea but also primordial which is uh, well i mean i'm not surprised about primordial but pangea i mean it feels like to me uh, you do want to uh, leave them as options right uh, at the end over there it's a, a comfortable gameplay most of the time on uh, pangea for most players i would say uh, more than more so than of course on the continental islands or fractal map or uh, something primordial and so on when uh, you are kind of a lot more spawn dependent than anything else than on any, uh, any other map I would say. Well, Lakes to Seven Seas Terra Map. They did take out continents and islands. Okay, we got Tilted Axis and Highlands. Tilted Axis and Lakes are actually maps that we haven't seen being played out that much. And uh, we do see uh, a lot of the times in these type of games um the players do like to go for the highlands there was a period in which they really liked the seven seas. We had like a I, I believe like a month or so in which the players just wanted to play the seven seas i don't know four out of uh, like six games that we had per week were played on the seven seas it's not don't get me wrong not bad map it's very good map actually a pretty diverse uh how to say um um pool of subjects to talk about which is uh, amazing all of the time uh okay lake, lake seven seas tilted axis what did they have what did they do did he wait what did he do wow okay yeah i hope for highlands okay yeah long game no problem yeah then you go good evening sir and welcome would there be a way to prevent biplanes from stopping tanks that's a very good question would there be a way or uh, would there be a way to actually attack planes without actually getting your own planes in the air is that a possibility i mean i know of one you can actually put a encampment but can you imagine shooting down a plane with an encampment uh highlights is always a slog a long games little action yeah i mean i, I gotta say salty capybara does uh i want to say uh, touch a nerve right there oh yeah yeah i mean to be honest she's not wrong she, she's completely right over there we do have quite a bit of action on all of the other maps compared to the highlands so mm, mm, i don't know i'm on the fence with this one okay so uh go same bands uh did he get in again who was the one that disconnected leech disconnected okay he got back he got back it's fine i'm not sure what was uh going on there i still don't know who the linda do you know is linda here even here i don't know but it, 
Do you know or does anybody know? Oh, we found him. Okay, never mind. We found him. It's Sabuga, the fourth member from Holiday One Highlands that still needs to get in. Well, I do hope uh, he's not going to get in through the middle of the big and band phase because this will reset it. If the plane is in the air, a tank should go under it. And if the plane isn't flying, a tank would uh, run it over. Yeah. But I think they were um, making an assumption that if a plane is deployed over there, somehow, uh, you know, all of the time, like you get like a 24 7 uh, kind of a defense and it blocks any unit. But that would, doesn't really make sense. It would still need to take some form of damage, right? Anyway, it is what it is. How about they play on actual Terra for a change? Ah! Uh, Oh my god, striking another nerf over there, Salty Capybara. Yes, yes, I mean, striking all the good nerfs. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, yes. Can you imagine? Oh, yes, on Terra map with cage fight. Oh, I would be so happy. Uh, anyway, no, welcome back, uh, Josh. It's uh, long to reach your enemies. Yes, it is. It is quite long. Anyway, we do have lakes. It looks like we do have lakes. The map is going to be lakes. Okay, we're going to have uh, quite a few civilizations that will have the opportunity to send those units to their opponents. We do need to see uh, what kind of highways they're actually going to have to benefit from. Of course, uh, pathways of a lot of uh, flat land there. Even though, if I do remember correctly, they didn't update on lakes and they did introduce a few more hills overall, if I'm not going like percentage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's that's what I remember uh, talking about lakes or uh, hearing about what BBS did to uh, lakes over here. They did him wrong. They did him good. Uh, we don't know yet. Will they show the power of the Netherlands on lakes? That's a good question. That's a very good question. We should have a decent amount of rivers, right? On lakes, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of rivers. Anyway, let's uh, put up the team label here, the map label here. It is going to be lakes for anybody new joining us. There we go. And uh, putting my screens in the correct order. I can imagine. I watched the uh, 2v2 on Terra a while back. Uh, action from the start. Just war and war moves. I want more of that. I need more. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yes. The two versus twos. Yeah, yeah. I uh, hope someone uh, plays a, S a Simon for, uh, to see the changes. Oh, wait a second. They're not playing. Uh, this is, I guess, I guess I do need to make a disclaimer here. Uh, we're not playing on the new version. No tournament right now is on the new version. What we are playing with it's of course this um uh, five seven uh, the former one with his, which is five six one the former bbg we're playing on the the normal one that that's why it's called the beta because um we don't want to change the meta of the tournaments while a beta is running and is still in testing without the all of the finalized bonuses it, it um, most of the time the normal teamers will do that or the normal ffs will uh, do that as much as possible they will play with it yeah the new version is just a beta right now it's just a beta you can try it out for yourself you can i put the link in the video over there um where to find it and it's, uh, and you can uh, see what's going on also victor oh good evening sir uh, i was watching the fatos versus oh 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 i see i see yeah it, it's starting slowly slowly good evening good evening okay we got some bands here it looks like uh, cleopatra has been taken out australia also has been taken out also it looks like hungary is taking the axe here okay okay i mean yeah and it is what it is no more hungary on the lakes map uh, we do still uh, have three civilizations and i do want to remind everybody that we did have four pre-game bands uh, earlier which were uh, give me a second so i can uh, scroll up uh, maya gilga put and Ptolemy and Scotland. Okay, the CTI is also going to be taken out. As far as we've seen on the lakes map, um, the civilizations that do have bonuses towards the horse units, for example, are quite feared uh, because, especially at the beginning of the game, you can move armies uh, quite uh, quickly through that flatland. And uh, we've seen actually a lot more aggression when it came down to the first the lakes maps that we've covered. Now, uh, since then and uh, now, I'm pretty sure there were quite a few changes uh, done to how uh, lakes, uh, lakes uh, does. Uh, generate its uh, heals and um, <laughs> I do want to keep on watching to make an informed opinion about it I would imagine still fast moving units are going to be uh, the case here and I would imagine we're also going to see some harassment being done when it comes down to the course of timing for example uh, we're going to need to see their neighborhood and uh, see what kind of options they have now in the civilizations I would also say uh, most of the time you're probably going to find out that the ones that are being picked on Pangea are going to be a good match on this um, map as well so yeah it's, it's all good with that one um, we do have Russia being taken down in the fifth one and the one more choice remaining for them 
um okay oh uh, another mention by the way a special mention we did have yesterday actually Ulysses managing to win uh against the ferritos de la vega in a two versus one uh ending of the series over there so they are the champions of uh, the cvfr squadrons season 12 so con big congratulations to them we do have also gandhi uh being uh, picked up over here as the last uh, band that's going to be the sixth choice and we don't need to start seeing their picks uh, in civilizations they are going to go for a one two two one a style of picking which of course means uh, one uh, team one will play and will pick one civilization and then we're gonna have team two pick two civilizations in a sequence um, most of the time we do have team one uh, trying to set the tone for the game and uh, of course team two trying to counter it now Ligi is already asking if sandro games is gonna go for Wilhelmina. oh my god he's actually doing it he's actually doing it guys he's picking Wilhelmina. Uh, in fact, with the Netherlands, you search for the river, but you search also small water surfaces like Lake or Small Sea, and you fill them with polders. Why have one go one foot, one gold when you can have four foot, two production, one gold on a very bad tile? Yeah, that's true. Uh, no Gandhi, no Lake Nukes. Hmm. And Japan, it might be a top pick here, and looks like uh, Colorado. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. The, no, no. Uh, the, uh, Sandro just played a little bit with Liege over here. Looks like he switched off uh, Wilhelmina, and he's going to go for Gorgo, uh, Greece. Uh, I would uh, say it's a much more balanced approach. We do have uh, it uh, being nerfed in the previous version, and it didn't actually receive any buff in this one. So I would imagine uh, Gorgo over here with its uh, delay into the extra card. It's still going to be fine in the game, but we do need to see what kind of options he's going to have. We've seen Pericles actually being picked up more and more than uh, Gorgo. Uh, this story is going to go for Theodora. This, of course, uh, is going to give them the option to uh, try to max out that taxi trade. And I'm actually quite curious if uh, they're going to pick up more civilizations with holy side bonuses or some form of a bonus towards the religion uh, so uh, he gets to convert them and of course build up on that taxi trade. you can still get the taxi trade with something else but it's just much easier uh, i would say uh, to get it with a civilization that does have a good synergy with theodora and of course the holy sites now shutsu is going for a monitore now if there was asticos in this game i would definitely say oh my god we you actually will see uh nubia being picked up again before i would see the choice now i wouldn't have been predicting this amani tore is not for everybody in um uh, what to say uh, as, as preferences it's actually it's a very niche <laughs> type of player that wants to play it um we do have it of course with the pitati arches when with that extra experience gathered to the pitati arches which is amazing the nubian pyramid which is also amazing and uh, uh, wait, what is this? Uh, Mr. Toes is saying he cannot see. What can he not see? I don't know what. Okay. Anyway, now anyway, a monitor is good uh, from my perspective uh, to actually get to talk a little bit more about its bonuses. We do have a uh, few, I would say, strategies that you can play with it. Uh, and I do want to see what kind of strategy we're going to have tonight so we can uh, speak uh, maybe about the others as well. Spain is going to also be picked up uh, as the fourth choice. And yes, we do have Philip II appearing over here in the game. And that will be quite interesting, especially against Theodora. If he does manage to get the extra plus five against him, you can imagine he's going be quite happy interesting that they didn't ban uh, spain before i would imagine actually spain being banned instead of uh, hungary would have been quite nice then but oh well it is what it is we do have also uh, the next wave of bans starting to come up four more civilizations need to be taken out and as you can see rome is going to be the next one on the chopping block uh, they do need to pick three more and we're going to get this going uh, monitor is actually quite fun yes yes it is quite fun uh, pretty early spike and scales well still yeah a little bit uh, slower on the mid to late game i would have to say uh, versus other civilizations that tend to uh, shine at that moment in time um yes Bartolomeo, good evening sir you do have the lakes map yeah yeah Okay, looks like Julius Caesar is also going to be taking out both Rome's have been taken down. Well, at least we still have Theodora in the game. Byzantium is still uh, Rome, right? Well, in some form or another.
I do want to mention, looking at the active picks, I'm pretty sure uh, Spain is going to be the gold generator. Greece is uh, probably going to be hanging on to that uh, dear, um, and, uh, how to say, uh, bottom line, trying to make a 10-15 gold if he's not going to get lucky with some uh, Coco tiles or diamond tiles next to him. Uh, we do have Theodora here that is not really well known for making gold at the middle game or the early game, and but Amani Torres, though, uh, can uh, go for that goal or can try to go for that gold. It does seem like at the moment they still... They they do need a lot more gold per turn when it comes to um, uh, team 2, team you lease. And I'm pretty sure they're going to get it in the next one. I'm pretty sure they're going to get it in the next one. Uh, anyway, the extra movement on Amaritores uh, archers is also going to be amazing. Uh, Nubia does get those Pitati archers uh, with... Uh, yeah, there we go, an extra movement. And if they do upgrade to crossbows, because why not? Scary. These guys are scary. They're very squishy on the defense, but extremely powerful. It's a, a good mix. Good mix. I think 40% district production plus the range production and experience makes her really nice on the defense. Yes, yes. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, the three habitations, the lakes are considered as a fresh water, so it's the same. Oh, oh, does Australia coastal bonus supply for uh, lakes and uh, or just oceans? Yeah. No, uh, no, only for, uh, yeah, as far as I know, is only the oceans, only on the coast, he only gets it on the coast. Uh, Rom Rom is going to go for Montezuma, which is uh, usually a quite big civilization over here, it does have uh, that uh, strong bonus of extra amenities, and uh, most of the time it does uh, tend to get that merchant, and it is also going to generate quite a bit of gold for his teammates, we've seen him uh, do well when it comes to his... Um, abilities to seem throughout the mid to late game so i would imagine montezuma over here is going to be quite happy we don't know yet if he's going to have multiple continents to benefit from that uh, extra damage bonus and i do see that uh Ali highlands is actually going to go for a bit more of an aggressive pick here with genghis khan being picked up on them it looks like uh, they will uh, get the philip the second and of course gorgo to fight alongside him against his opponents and uh, they will pick tokugawa Wait, what? What? I mean, that's Tokugawa, right? They actually picked Tokugawa? Wow, okay. Yeah, they picked Tokugawa. It is what it is. very suspicious i would imagine uh, that's gonna be sandro playing it just all alone he did show us the last time i mean he did definitely show us the last time that is amazing as a civilization so i would imagine he's gonna try to do it again looks like uh, bull moose is gonna be the last choice here lich is gonna pick it and we do have um sabuga that needs to join the lobby um yeah Tokugawa. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I like Tokugawa's bonuses when it comes to those internals, and I do uh, most of the time see in the games the players actually going a lot uh, more for uh, internal trade routes than I do see them externally trading. If you do manage to get the gold, sure, that's fine. So many of the games though do depend on your ability to trade with your uh, ally, not only for the gold. The gold is uh, yes important, but it's also part of uh, the trade deal over there. You can get extra culture points you can get extra science points which might give you that extra edge that you need uh, in um, in a very competitive environment so it's not only that it's not only the fact that uh, you do get the extra um, you do lack the extra gold uh, trading to that extra to the civilization and yes most of the time you do get diesel bank and also for those trade routes for the extra production and extra food uh, that you're gonna um, get with them anyway i guess we're gonna need to see why uh, why is uh, mr toast playing tokugawa wait wait a second what is this okay interesting i would imagine he's gonna switch or something uh this is a good moment to see what uh, they're gonna prioritize uh, in the slot order i'm pretty sure we're gonna need to wait for them to um, get their into the correct slots they want to be in and then uh, pick their civilizations they will want to play with just give them a few moments here and we're gonna see that happening uh, what is the map? Uh, this is Lakes map. This is the map Lakes. <laughs> yep. Tokugawa doesn't know democracy. Democracy. <laughs> he embraces. Uh, okay. 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 Well, well, it is what it is. 
Let's see how he's gonna fare over here. What kind of bonuses he's gonna get. I do want to mention that it's not Sandro Games playing it. Sandro is actually gonna go for Genghis Khan. We do have him on a much more aggressive uh, civilization. We got Historia on Theodora Byzantium. Uh, Shunzu is gonna go for Amanitore. Manuji on Philip II. Romrom on Montezuma. Mr. Toast Tokugawa. Uh, Sabuga is gonna play uh, Gris Gorgo. And then Leech is gonna play his uh, Bulmos. And I gotta say, this is gonna be interesting to see if uh, Leech is gonna have enough time to go for some form of uh, victory here. Uh, cultured victory with uh, Teddy Roosevelt. It's been some time since we've seen him playing the game. Um, and I gotta say, I'm quite uh, expecting those preserves to look extremely good. I mean, yeah, that's why we watch it, right? For the, the, for the yields. Let's uh, put up uh, also the prediction over here on the screen. Start prediction for how many remaps. Now we do have uh, 0, 1 and 2 as possible options in a submission period of 10 minutes. Uh, I do want to put the same uh, Q&A also on uh, YouTube so uh, we can also bounce their opinion with this. Uh, let's uh, put the plus in, start the Q&A and uh, ask how many remaps. And of course, answers. Oh, what? No, start. Start a poll, there we go. How oh, many remaps? Zero, one, and uh, rather, option two. There we go. Start the poll. Uh, Rafifi, uh, anyway, there is a problem with communism. If you go uh, tier four government, you lose the plus four food and plus four production from collectivism. This card isn't inherited in the tier four compared to democracy. Oh, I see. Nasty. Nasty. <clears throat> okay, let's see the first map. Uh, that we have over here looks like on the northwest we're gonna talk, uh, talk about sandro first he's gonna get his uh settled immediately the 2-2 two -two base underneath is gonna be fine and uh, i do see he's gonna have access to a coffee tile which will allow him to uh, get more tiles faster in his capital acquire them spread his cities far and wide we do also see him with a pretty good uh, second city over here to the north next to the fountain of youth which is gonna have the benefits of uh, some extra possession from the spy style and of course quite a few other 2-2s two there to uh, make good of uh, we, we do have uh, also him with a good river network to the east side i think we do need to take a look also on the west if he has any kind of opponent to go against i would imagine aztec is going to be on the receiving end and ooh, double continent split aztec i mean don't mind if i do we're definitely going to need to see how he's going to benefit from those amenities and uh yeah so throw his opponents uh, off the game uh, to the east side there is also another sieve here that is going to be shun tzu to the east of of, uh, Sandro Games and both of them could be targets for those cash checks. We're going to need to see how Sandro Games is going to want to play this. But I gotta say, from the get go, this does look like a very strong spawn here. Uh, looking at uh, Mero, we do have. Oh, wait a second. We need to take a look at uh, Washington. We got Leech over here next to the mountains. He does have some extra science points from that. And of course, you can see the culture points. Uh, you can also see he has a very, very good mountain uh, over here. That's such a big mountain range. But I gotta say, yeah, that also. Mm, doesn't give him a lot of opportunity to improve those tiles, does it? There's just no tiles to improve, just mountains. Clear as day, so many mountains. Anyway, we'll see what he's gonna do over here, how he's gonna try to plan everything up. Uh, Teddy Bulmus, yes, hello, hello, so good evening, sir. Six easy locks close to Aztec spawn, plus plus, yes, uh, Aztec in orange and green, that's weird. Yes, it is. Yes, I do have to agree with that. Uh, okay, moving forward, we do need to take a look at uh, Nubia's spawn here. We just took a pick uh, earlier and we did notice he's gone a lake. He does have a reef fish uh, tile to improve to the southeast, and by the looks of it, uh, he's uh, gonna have some flat tiles next to the capital, but they need to be chopped so he can can actually put down his uh, pyramid usually the players do try to uh, get that pyramid as soon as possible so you can get the extra faith per turn not to mention trying to get that extra uh, district discount that you get or i should say you know the more production towards districts that is something amazing on the nubian pyramid if you take a look uh, over here you do get the um, mm, 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 it's not here it's on nubia right uh, what is it what is it a monitor 20 percent production towards all districts increase to 40 percent production if there is a nubian pyramid adjacent to the city center you do want to get that nubian pyramid adjacent to the pyramids and the um, city center now we do have uh, to the southeast also to take a look at sparta looks like saboga is going to have an array of uh, plantations here on the instant styles to benefit from some embers in the south and i do see he has a wonder the crater lake well 
Uh, it's gonna have some mountains to the northeast. A good uh, spread of uh, freshwater series, I gotta say. This looks like a much. Uh, uh, this looks like a seven seas with less water, to be honest. Like by the looks of it, this this is how it seems to me. But anyway. We do have uh, Sabuga here with also the ability to try to get the Gypsum uh, settles and of course another uh, incense settle to the east side. He's gonna have a pretty good plantation pantheon here with uh, the amount of incense he has littered around his land. And I would imagine he's gonna think about it, uh, debate it. We're going to need to see what his option will be and what kind of options he's gonna have remaining. Uh, it's not guaranteed that he's gonna get the pantheon that he actually wants. We do have uh, Manuji also with a continent split to the north. He's gonna get another continent, the North American, and I do see Madrid is being settled on Asia America. I would imagine he's uh, gonna get quite a few cities in that um, second continent, and I would imagine with the amount of land he has, he's not gonna be bothered by war for some time now. Uh, he's the opponent of um, uh, Shun Tzu, though, so um, there might be some shenanigans here. But to be honest, by the looks of this territory here, I wouldn't really expect that much. Uh, to happen to Mero and I am a bit sad that we didn't immediately spot any kind of highway that would transport the troops from one empire to the other much faster it doesn't seem like they're actually gonna go head to head against each other with horses here does it mm -mm -mm. Uh, we did take a look at Sparta okay let's take a look at Byzantium uh, we got this story here with his uh, geothermal fissures he also has his 2-3 deer tile next to Constantinople I do see some uh, huts are still needing uh, some love over here from his uh, scouts and by the looks of it he's also gonna have a decent amount of freshwater arrangements he's to the north of uh, Hojo to Kimune. and Mr. Toes over here will actually have somebody to fight against. Uh, Distoria is gonna be his opponent. We do have to the southwest also Sabuga, which might uh, offer a, a helping hand to Mr. Toes. But to be honest, it doesn't seem like uh, they're actually gonna get to trade with each other. And finally, en funny enough, we actually have. Um, Korakorum here not able to trade which also means uh, Hojo is probably not going to want to trade with anybody which take a look at this just leaves Spain trading with Corgo they're fine look at that they're, they're actually fine I mean it's not ideal of course having four civilizations trading with each other much better than having only two civilizations trade with each other but you know given the case it is what it is hello Ure. good evening sir and welcome uh, also pyramids in Sparta maybe uh, does, can he? Uh, yeah, this is a desert tile. Yeah, he can. Lol, he can actually do it. Anyway, now looking at uh, Tokyo here, he does have an array of uh, good amber tiles to use. Some extra food from that banana tile and the uh, reef fish a little bit further off. Uh, is gonna have a good uh, campuses also next to these uh, reef uh, tiles. While I do see an array of cocos uh, are gonna be amazing here. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this settlement? Yeah, I don't know about this. This this kind of seems OP. This, if I would actually need to rate this settle, I would say it's like a 10 out of 10, to be honest. This is amazing. Wuling Yuan is actually in between Aztec and uh, Tokyo. So there might be a fight over here for those tiles. I would imagine uh, Tenochtitlan would want to send as quickly as possible something there to uh, get the benefits of that extra culture. Oh well, if not, we'll see. <laughs> we got a setter also in one turn coming out from uh, Mr. Toes, and it's a very big question. You can see the difference in quality of territory here if between his south, northwest, north, and uh, the east side here. Oh my god, look at the array of cocoa tiles. They're just everywhere. Everywhere you look, you got a cocoa tile. Ooh. Yeah, no, hello, sir. Lots of purple and yellow. Yeah. Uh, good evening sir and welcome go Ulysses go yeah <laughs> he's got chocolate hills too wait where where does he have chocolate hills where did you see chocolate hills did I did I miss something or are you talking about the actual chocolate hills this is basically chocolate hills right the battle will remain in the history of books as the war of chocolate uh, well yeah it's history book oh history book as the war for chocolate yes 
Not uh, of chocolate, for chocolate. The word for chocolate. I mean, everybody wants to nibble on some chocolate from time, now and again, right? From time to time. And let's put up uh, the team labels on the map while we do wait for them to actually uh, get through the remap uh, options. We do have team release on the left side and on the right side, we're actually going to have uh, big boys from HOH. Holiday on Highlands. It did take actually quite a bit of a holiday, to be honest. And I do have to say that actually Holiday on Highlands is uh, higher in uh, points, if I'm not mistaken. Give me a second so i can uh, put it up on the screen here uh, so you can uh, take a look there we go we do have uh, holiday on highlands with uh, 13 games played with uh, five remaining six wins and seven losses uh, while uh, team UDC is on 14 games played four win uh, four uh, games remaining with six and eight uh, six wins and eight losses throughout the CFF, uh, so throughout the cpl premier league season three and we do have them uh, doing the remap vote and i do want to take this off uh, so we get to uh, see everything that's going on there it's fine okay it's fine it's fine How's everybody doing on YouTube, by the way? Are you guys okay? Everybody good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with all the cocoa, it's definitely gonna have... Uh, there's definitely gonna be a war here. I would imagine there's definitely gonna be a war here. For Wuling Yuan and the cocoa tiles. I mean, whoever gets this settle over here is gonna have the biggest city, man. Look at this access to silk tiles. Uh, three cocoa tiles, uh, another silk tile there. Uh, tiles from Wuling Yuan, fresh water. Oh what do you want more more horses here in the southeast there's just uh, more mountains maybe oh there we go this is it hmm. prepare for the war for the coco we got a coco delivery between tenochtitlan and um the big boy tokugawa we do need to see if mr toes is gonna manage to put his toes uh right in wooling yuan or is it gonna be his opponent rom rom who's gonna manage to snatch that coco tile from him and i gotta say do you know that actually rom is um uh, chocolate in, Ro in romania <laughs> just saying man in romania is rom rom's name is basically like uh, you know uh, chocolate chocolate just just saying now uh, straight to it a bit different to last night yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay we got it boys we got it let's actually finish uh, the prediction over here um yeah uh also voted well, yeah, okay it's gonna be crazy plantation pantheon is definitely gonna be crazy yes honestly i just picked the first option and didn't look at the map at all okay okay i mean that yeah yeah that's definitely a way to go uh, let's finish the prediction up and choose an outcome here it's going to be zero rematch for this game and we do need to take a look at uh, each of the response in uh, detail there we go somebody's going to get quite a few points uh, colorado 13 0 0 how they're good yeah they, they they got good that's how um okay so let's see urunki did get settled to the north he didn't actually choose to settle on the fountain of uh, youth he did choose to settle next to the spine stars as quickly as possible i'm pretty sure he should see that but i want to double check yeah he does see that okay so we do have him with some access to the turtle tile that he's definitely going to want to improve and i do see him going for his monuments the extra production giving him the ability to get that monument faster um, extra culture also starting to uh, sp uh, allow his city to spread a little bit faster and we do have a third city already from Korakorum. that's uh, as you can see over here uh, aztec is barely getting his uh, second settle compared to how fast mongolia did get hit here and we do have um also a builder chosen to uh, come up next as in the training queue for Korakorum. He's uh, going to get to improve these three pastures. No problem for him uh, to get these uh, horses. Uh, I do also notice his iron tile is going to be three tiles out to the northeast of Korakorum. That is a bit further away than uh, he would ideally want. I do also notice he's not going to stick uh, to the east side. He's going to go to the west and uh, put a city right in the face of uh, Aztec here. I would imagine also southwest at some point is going to be a, a direction to go to. Uh, I did notice also the first pan Pantheon is going to be chosen, God of Open Sky, and this makes sense with the chosen um, builder to get into the training queues. I would imagine he's going to want to improve these patches as quickly as possible and uh, get that extra culture going. 
Yeah, we do also need to take a look at uh, the south neighbor. Uh, looks like uh, Liege over here has a settler moving on the coast towards the northeast. And uh, yes, there is a very, very nasty Mongolian scout coming in like it here from the northwest of uh, Washington. He's going to get in and he's going to need to see if he gets anything. Uh, there's no improvement yet in the city of Washington. And uh, by the looks of it, that settler is out of harm's way. He's going to get uh, safely over there and, of course, escorted by a warrior of his uh, American empire. We do have um, also the volcano seeing this happening sandro games scout getting closer to the lands of washington he knows this is gonna be war brewing here between them and started being excited you can see he's about to explode about to improve the lands next to america here also Abu Kaka, hello there sir and welcome uh sandro two cities already so fast yeah i mean you know he's getting there he's getting with so much production there I will um, uh, no, I, I know what he's doing. Never mind. Okay, moving uh, forward, let's take a look at his strategic resources. He does have an island tile next to Washington, and I do see he doesn't have the benefits of horses around his cities. And neither will he have in the second city to the northeast. If he does want to get the benefits of horses, he's going to need to go quite far to the west side so he can actually in improve these tiles next to the volcano oh my god another volcano getting excited but why this is peaceful man this is peaceful lands why are you getting excited does he have vision over oh 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 no no it's like nothing happening over here it's still the distance is this like a 10 tile distance or something for the volcano to get excited what is the two four six eight nine okay yeah that makes sense Okay, we got a word declaration being sent, so definitely those uh, volcanoes did feel something there. Nubia is going to go for his third settle pretty soon. He does have uh, the city of Mero finishing up and uh, working on a builder right now. He's getting a few 2-2s two to work with a 1-3 and of course you can see the 3 one, one fish still needs some improvements. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did get his sailing boost from settling on the coast on that uh, culture tile. That is a uh, jade tile actually underneath the city of Kerma. We do have him uh, getting uh, his build out from that city as well. Uh, interesting that he's not going immediately for the monument. Of course, he does want to get those, uh, like I said, uh, those um, pyramids as quickly as possible built there. We do have him also with access to an item tile in the third ring of both cities here. And I do notice his horses are also third ring from Mero. Very expensive resources to uh, get to improve here unless you settle closer to them. Uh, we do have uh, Shun Tzu actually going for the floodplains uh, settled to the south of Kerma. This is a much more safer um, position to put a city than it is to the northwest towards, um, towards Mongolia. But I wouldn't say the quality is the same. I would actually rank a little bit higher the quality of the lands uh, to the northwest than uh, to the southeast. Like that, just in terms of two twos, for example, over here, if you settle this to one, you get like three two twos. You can settle two two and buy all those other two twos and uh, still get some uh, amber in the water. And another two two here, there are like four two twos around that one city uh, and uh, some mountains to benefit from. Not to mention, if you go here, you can benefit from the bananas, extra food, uh, horses, and truffles. While to the southeast, if you take a look at how the land looks, uh, the only uh, advantage that I would immediately see is uh, his ability to actually get some more districts, maybe. Uh, next to other districts, uh, availability to go for um, Etemenanki, for example, and so on. Uh, that might be the plan. But in uh, terms of two twos, he has a total of one, two in the second rings. That's it. If you go third ring, he's going to have access to another two. That's very expensive. Very expensive at this point. Actually, three. No, no two, because he would have settled here. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look at uh, the next one, Gorgo. We got Knossos already sending the first trader towards the capital. He did choose to settle on a gypsum tile, so he gets that extra foot point with the production and the gold, and not to mention the amenity. <clears throat> He's, he might actually get another city here on that uh, incense tile, so he gets uh, two amenities very quickly, and uh, of course, access to an extra faith point uh, from underneath the settle will give him a much faster pantheon. I do see Sabuga is already making one faith a turn, and I'm actually quite curious if he's working an incense style or is he working okay see he's working an incense style this is actually a bit troubling here because he's um he's working <coughs> 
a 2-2 tile and a 211 uh, for the extra faith from the beginning that also means uh, he's gonna slow down his production a little bit uh, since he's building a build that it might not make that big of a difference but i'm pretty sure it would have made the, the difference of a turn uh, when you're talking about a settler <laughs> looking at uh, his strategic resources he does have an iron tile on the right side and i do notice it's gonna be right next to the capital city sparta he's gonna need to get uh, much closer to the horses with uh, three rings out that's gonna be very expensive to get uh, also, let me catch up with chat here. Uh, Machiavelli, good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, we do see uh, also horses guaranteed the strategic resources near start. Yes, uh, they are. I thought so. Maybe he settled on horses. Maybe he did settle on horses because, yeah, I think in the same. I don't know. You're, we're talking about Nubia, right? Do you think he actually settled on? I don't think he settled on horses. I don't think he settled on horses. This looks to me like a hill or something underneath his city for some reason the um, drop down menu is not appearing hello game can you show us uh, Mero, please hmm okay okay well it is what it is we cannot see that detail yet uh, looks like manush is also going to get his uh, builders out two of them are the out we do have him with a trader connecting his uh, second city to the capital and i do see a third city moving to the east side he's probably going to want to get onto that river even though it just flooded uh, we do see some extra fertility be given to those tiles i think an extra no not even one extra food point was given to these tiles never mind there's like zero fertility being generated here uh, we do have um, also torido starting to get the extra culture from the amber and he is also getting his uh, monument out from toledo it looks like um, we do need to see um if he's gonna manage to get uh, Namadol and also how far to the south he wants to uh, join he does have an ally here Knossos and I'm pretty sure they want, you know, want to set up a coastal trade routes oh sorry coastal trade routes trade routes between them I would imagine also the mountains might give them the opportunity to get some mountain tunnels going for those uh, juicy 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 trade routes now we do have uh, God of the Sea chosen for Spain he's gonna get the extra production on these uh, coastal resource tiles and yes we do see him uh, starting to scout out through the northeast uh, finding where the Tsingi de Bemaraha is the crown jewel of the game. Uh, Cordoba is going to be settled on the river, and by the looks of it, he's not going to care that much about the floodplains uh, or the <clears throat> risk to get some floods there. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. We do have um, Japan, Tokyo, getting Magnus uh, in one turn there. And I do see um, Mr. Tos is going to start improving his tiles here. I'm actually quite curious. Did he go irrigation so quickly? Oh, did he actually go irrigation to improve the banana tile? Or is he going for the... Oh, no. I think he's actually on the way from uh, improving the amber to improving another amber. I don't think he actually got the banana tile. Anyway, he does have, as you can see, two cities with a... With a, with a fourth settler coming up from tokyo uh, he did manage to get his city to the east side where there is an eagle warrior trying to protect the best lands uh, wooding yuan has to offer now uh, you can imagine he's uh, definitely going to be interested to get another city there <laughs> and i would imagine also rom rom is going to want to step up the efforts uh, to get an army there uh, i would also think that japan will have a much harder much uh, easier time to protect this territory than uh, uh, aztec will okay let's see uh, mr toes also improve his iron tile to the northeast his horse tile is uh, towards the southwest uh, uh, Yoka okayama that city is put on a gypsum tile and he's receiving some extra amenity from it okay okay one extra amenity from it and of course he does have his second from the amber he's going to need plantations uh, that's irrigation if he wants to get these uh, silt tiles improved and of course the cocoa tiles on the right side i would imagine this is one continent no these are two continents actually hey andy Reo, thank you so and much for this up retained his knighthood for 10 months much appreciated sir also hoh has this or oh, it might they might have HOH has more defensible trade routes between all four players um you're not wrong but i don't think they're gonna trade with uh, at least uh, two players like i don't think there's gonna be any trading done with uh, mongolia for example throughout the game not right now but like throughout the game they're not gonna trade with him uh the same can be said about uh, tokugawa he's not gonna trade with anybody he's gonna want to go internal so the only trade routes are probably gonna be seen here between greece and uh, spain while on the other side we do have uh, for example aztec with uh, byzantium that could uh, share some trade routes uh, we do have uh, 
over here Nubia with uh, yes wink wink America sharing some trade routes I gotta say they could also try to get uh, set up uh, some coastal trade routes here Los Angeles is being put to the coast to the southeast of Taruga is a place a special place for a city of uh, Nubia uh, somebody needs to make a sign and put it here it's a very bad city it's a, one of the worst cities that you could do but um, yeah the economic man the economic incentives uh, one trade route for roads and Nubia to Japan. Okay. Well, let's actually see what's going on here. Looks like Mongolia is going to want to step on that preserve and uh, the. Um, sit on it. We do have uh, Sandro Games here acquiring some experience points from being hit by an American warrior. Uh, America is trying to get his uh, traders going for the extra production and food in the city of Los Angeles, finishing up the preserve next to the coffee tile and the mountains. He's gonna actually get quite a few nice mo uh, tiles there to work. As you can see, uh, the preserves are being set also to the southeast, uh, also trying to use as much as possible the tiles uh, that are next to the mountains for that extra appeal <coughs> to get the yields going. Reina is gonna be a uh, Chosen in the capital city of Washington, and uh, we do have a pantheon here. Earth Goddess is going to be chosen, so he will get the extra faith uh, per turn from a uh, charming and uh, breathtaking appeal tiles. Okay, we did actually talk about America earlier. Let me move back to Montezuma. Rom Rom is uh, getting his Magnus in two turns in Tenochtitlan. He still didn't actually start up on his fourth or the fifth settler. While we do have already fourth and fifth settlers and sixth settlers. No, fourth and fifth uh, settlers coming around. Uh, sorry, fifth and sixth settlers coming around from the city. Oh, that city might be gone. That city might be gone. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, that boat over there is not going to be uh, over. This is the moment we need to sound the alarm over here. Ding, 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 ding. We got Osaka getting under attack. And, you know, like uh, you see the movies over there, there's somebody with a, a bell, a very, like a big bell over there on the streets, just ringing everywhere. Ding, 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 ding. The Aztec are here. The Aztec are here. Save your lives. We got Osaka trying to get a galley out. Not happening. Not happening. I mean, four turns for a galley, you might as well not put anything in production because that's not going to finish in the gold. Mr. Toes is 63 gold. He can only buy a scout. Hmm. Winning prediction at your convenience? Yeah. I guess that extra city that Mr. Toes received is not going to be that uh, big of an extra city. Yeah. Mm. That's a bit unfortunate, I gotta say. But um, yeah, Rom Rom, uh, what can I say? He punished him from not defending. He definitely punished him from not defending. We got more legal warriors coming around from the cities of uh, Rom Rom. And yes, I do see he's starting up to improve his uh, tiles here, getting the extra points of damage. Osaka immediately hit and taken down to 44 out of 200 garrison health. We do have the eagle warrior with uh, only plus one luxury attack bonus, but he's already stronger, significantly stronger than a normal warrior's 20 strength. This guy is a 28, definitely has muscles. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I do want to say we kind of need to get the prediction going for uh, who we will win and i'm sorry that we actually get to see this but you know it is what it is uh who will win now let's see ulysse going for and hoh on the other side uh, 30 minutes is a submission period i might be optimistic but you know that's who i am it is what it is and i do want to put it up on uh, youtube as well so we get to see what's going on i just instinctively chose one yeah yeah well uh start the poll up who will win? I don't know what this uh, does, by the way. What the Q&A does. Can, uh, like, viewers ask me questions and I get to respond or chat gets to respond? I don't know how it works. Do you guys know how it works on YouTube? What's this q and I'm going to click on it, by the way. YouTube, don't be mad. Don't be mad. I'm clicking. Answer viewer questions live. <gasps> Ooh, say something. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I'm actually just gonna put uh okay okay and what's going on okay 
so you guys can can you can anybody from youtube actually interact with this uh anyway let, let's see the city of osaka being taken down osaka first victim of the game here rom rom does manage to take the city away from uh, japan and mr tosi is going to be left without a city center to benefit from that all of that extra tempo that he tried so carefully to build up it got uh, snatched away by rom rom his next door opponent we do have actually uh, rom rom keeping the city of osaka wait is he actually gonna keep it oh oh no I don't, I don't think he's gonna keep it like there's no way he's gonna keep it from rebelling is it he's so far away from his lands no there's no way anyway we got another pantheon here the city patreon god is being chosen by aztec and i do see him uh, starting to improve mo most of his plantations here getting another sugar tile i'm pretty sure he's on plus two right now plus three right now okay what does he have he has cocoa tiles he has sugar tiles and he has dye tiles improved uh we can see that he's also gonna have some uh, coffee to the east side uh, on the uh, continent of uh, pangea here uh, and of course uh, getting a city that would also unlock uh, ivory and uh, amber yeah ivory and amber look at this this city right here it's so important for him you get those uh, three luxuries and uh, one banana tile to feast on and yeah i know it's in the front of uh, mongolia but uh, you want that damage we got some fertiles also to the west side of Trakopan that needs to be settled and of course the volcano already started exploding seeing what's happening here aztec is uh, doing quite a bit of damage to japanese uh, territory and we do need to talk about Byzantium also. Looking at his uh, Gavron Plaza, I do also I do notice him um, using the river for some uh, uh, shenanigans. But I gotta say, this doesn't look like he's gonna have many tiles to actually improve here next to the Gavron Plaza. Anyway, we do have uh, holy sites, two holy sites being built from his cities, and I would imagine he's gonna get the third one. There we go. We got the third one. Uh, he's gonna get. Uh, he already got the religion. Actually, Catholicism. He's going for work ethic with crusade. He's already getting the culture from his holy sites. He does want uh, the production extra from the shrines and the temples, and he does want the crusade ability on his opponents if he can manage to get it. I gotta say, uh, also Spain is not that far away from him. Later on in the game, he might be under a lot of pressure from Manuji. We're going to need to see how he, he's gonna try to deal with him. Now, the story is also starting to get his uh, next settlers going. Looking at his yield stab, we do have. Uh, the story here with uh, 12 faith points per 10 right now this is not that big of a number and i do see him only with 34 banked up uh in his cities this is definitely not enough for a good monumentality is uh, he did manage to get his shrines going and he's getting a third holy site here next to that the Gavron plaza this is definitely going to be much better it's probably going to be a plus three right and uh, yes he has multiple cities that he's going to need to get out here I would imagine we're going to return to see what's going on there. Anyway, a scout has died, the scout of Byzantium. We do have also Byzantium with a horse style in between his two cities. He probably wanted to put the Gavron Plaza on that horse style, but unfortunately he couldn't because the horse just appeared out of nowhere. We got... Um, also some geothermals that will allow him to get uh, stronger campuses so we're going to need to see how he's going to make this land work to be honest i was thinking he's going to go more for uh, food feed the world here than uh, actually uh, work ethic not that i think it's a bad choice i do definitely like uh, work ethic i just think um you would definitely require more food in this territory anyway we'll come back and see moksha open and for him for that extra faith extra culture and uh let's move on let's see we got korakorum already built the temple of artemis so this is the old the good the oh my god the greatest temple of artemis we do have it with the four food four housing and the amenities look how many amenities i mean the city of korakorum must be in uh ecstatic moments over here oh my wall of strong coming up in five turns he's on the still on three cities he's getting his orders done in both of his other cities here ulaanbaatar and uh, urumqi while he's gonna probably one turn it in the city of korakorum anyway or two turn it he does have uh, so much culture coming up from those uh, patches he didn't improve one two three four five bonuses of culture just from uh, open sky well, I gotta say, he didn't actually choose to expand his territory. I would imagine if he does want to go against the Aztec, he's still gonna want to get the city of, across that river to make uh, everything moving much, much faster. We're going to need to see also how fast he can actually travel until he gets to Aztec territory because it's not gonna be that easy, especially with uh, how much rainforest and hills are between them. 
Uh, there is another option which uh, by the looks of it it is going to be much easier to get to uh, try to get over here to Mero there are two one tile chokes that he needs to pass uh, to actually get into the city of Mero but he might not expect it at all actually I do not think Shun Tzu is going to expect any kind of attack here from the west side let's uh, take a look at the pantheons we got the uh, religious settlements chosen by nubia he's gonna get the campus here and i do see he uh, he is uh, putting down as many of these pyramids as possible actually two in the city of Mero to make that city grow as fast as possible uh government plots are finishing in one turn and that is going to be a good placement for also campuses this is probably going to be his campus here so he gets uh, those uh, extra science points into the pyramids remember the pyramids do get um do get yields according to what kind of district is adjacent to them so you have campus you get science you have industrial zone you get production you have theater square you get culture and so on and so forth and so it is quite a bit of a skill over here to try to mix in these uh, pyramids in the perfect tiles uh, that you will get the bonuses for and uh, maximize the output of your um, uh, districts we do need to take a look at Gorgo. He went for Goddess of Festivals. He's going to get the extra culture pertain from these incense tiles. And you can see he already has quite a few of them improved. One, two, three, four, uh, five here in the city of Ephesus. He has also a fifth city out going towards the northeast to settle it. Getting creeping closer to Spain here in the north, which at the moment is uh, only on four cities. <clears throat> Now we do have also Sabuga needing to actually improve his strategic resources. He doesn't have a single horse style improved and I do see he has an iron tile next to the city of Sparta. I would imagine he's not gonna discover, he's not gonna know about it. Horseback riding coming up in three turns from Sabuga while he's going for his drama and poetry to discover the Acropolises. There we go, he just did and uh, you can see how many of these are being placed. I'm a bit surprised about the choice of placement for the city of Athens. Usually with uh, Greece you do want to settle next to at least one uh, hill so you can place the acropolis as, as soon as possible and get the benefits of that um, extra adjacency to the city center anyway it is what it is here i guess the only choice would have been here to the northwest uh, to place it but anyway or in the river bender here we have uh, pantheons more pantheons uh no pantheon from japan he did uh, do some attacks but then went back government plots are placed okay harbor getting out minus internals here of course for mr toes uh, didn't go for his uh, fourth settler again uh, actually that's uh, unfortunate it is what it is he was building one from tokyo if i remember correctly but he stopped actually doing it he probably wanted to get a warrior out to defend himself against a uh, possible uh, um, second attack from Rom Rom. Okay, Byzantium. Uh, did go for initiation, it's by the way, Byzantium. <laughs> and City Patreon got us on Rom Rom. What did the. Uh, oh, Open Sky, right? This is Open Sky. Yeah. Oh, Wall of Throne already finished. Horses are coming out of the cities of Sandro. He does have a general for them, and you can see the extra movement showing up here. <laughs> Let's see the. Let's see the next uh, sim part. We got Pingala establishing in the city of Burungi. And uh, I do see him placing down three campuses next to his uh, Gavron Plaza. Trying to max out as much as possible the adjacency those campuses will receive. Now that he does have uh, two horses, he can uh, try to go and harass a little bit uh, Rom Rom here. Or even try to take a city state with them. Uh, we will need to see if Rom Rom is going to discover those horses and try to prepare here. Because uh, to be honest, he does have quite a few very juicy tiles for uh, Mongolia to feast on. I think uh, I didn't catch up with chat. Sorry. Give me a second. I got uh, caught up with uh, everything that was going on. I still don't know exactly what's going on with uh, this. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Meadow already have a campus north of the city. Uh, Meadow already has a campus. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Does it? <gasps> he does. Why? Why? Oh my god, okay, what, what is he gonna get here then? I guess he never wanted to place, uh, okay, I know what happened, he never wanted to place um, a, a campus with the, or say, with the sacrifice of going bronze working here, okay, I see how it is, 
you don't want to get bronze or king to kill that tile unfortunate though that's so much science lost between these oh my god that's so much science i mean sure you can put one here but it's not going to be the same definitely not the same ancestral hall being chosen by shun tzu we do have uh, liang establishing in the city of nuri i do want to mention he didn't actually get the temenanki going here and also want to thank you colorado for pointing that out keshek factory for the win yeah yeah it, it does seem like a uh, kishik factor is the way here for central games to play the game he's going quickly to granada here and he might actually take that uh, extra fourth city he can place a city in between uh, quite easily and uh, use those cities to uh, get his armies out towards uh, rom rom here now uh, we're turn 32 so the players uh, did uh, choose their golden ages we're going to take a look what's going on here america does have monumentality golden age she does also have 18 faith at 10 not that big 35 production with uh, 32 food getting his groves going which which is going to give him quite a few nice uh, tiles to use here and i'm pretty sure he's very excited uh, to get to the part where he can actually settle woods you know like make some woods we have uh, governor reina also and deployed in the city of uh, washington to give him some uh, funds at the beginning only 14 gold at 10 with 12 science and 22 culture uh rome rome 11 science and 21 uh, culture he does have a pen brush and voice uh, gold region three series um aztec and as you can see he's going for his commercials the first merchant is marcus licinius crassus and i would imagine he's gonna want the next one for the extra amenity uh, i'd also notice uh, he's not getting that uh, fourth oh i see fourth and the fifth city out finally he didn't actually build them yet but now he has uh, quite a bit of production extra to work them uh looks like also he tried he keeps on trying to push uh, japan to force him to make some military here especially since his eagle warriors are stronger than his opponent's units you can imagine this is going to be quite hard for uh, mr toast to uh, send away send off these aztec units from his uh, territory I do also notice the city of Takamatsu already is converted to the religion of Byzantium. So I would imagine Byzantium here is getting that uh, plus five crusade on that city center. Oh, kick. There we go. Okay. You know, lighthouses for the extra trade draws for Mr. Toast. But anyway, we were on uh, Rom Rom. I got. Rom Rom Moksha, a second uh, one. Volcano started to get uh, more yields over here, more fertility throughout the tiles. Also, commercial in Tenochtitlan. And of course, I do see these uh, setters are going to be two turns off from finishing. Granada is already being taken down. You do see that uh, Sandro Games with only two horses, not even his general, did manage to get there quite quickly. And is punching through that uh, series defense. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look also on Shun Tzu with his uh, monumentality. No, Pen Brushing Voice Golden Age, uh, Ancestral Hall in four turns. I don't know why I said monumentality, but Pepega. Uh, anyway, commercials uh, in Kerma, and I do see he did start up with his uh, campuses, three of them, and then the kind of Gavron Plaza, and then put down the commercials. We do also notice he's getting another wave of settlers here from Nuri, um, and I would imagine after he's going to finish that ancestral uh, hall, he's just going to keep on doing settlers so he gets to spread throughout this land and uh, get his team some uh, bonuses, some advantages here. <coughs> We got also the story again in horseback riding next turn, which will allow him to uh, get some uh, units to attack uh, into the cities of Japan. Uh, we do have uh, Aztec almost taking down the warrior of uh, Mr. Toes, which is not going to get the promotion. It is not strong enough, didn't receive enough experience points, and he's going to need to get away from there with uh, oligarchy bonus on uh, the Eagle Warrior with the plus four luxury attack bonus, and of course, uh, Embolon. <laughs> that is definitely a strong 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 warrior 40 strength eagle warrior we do have um, also the Storia right now on 10 science and 19 culture. I can't really say he's uh, that big in both stats. Uh, getting pyramids from Adrianople and only 25 uh, faith per turn. He's uh, getting a campus here that's going to be a plus uh, 2 next to the geothermal fissure. While he did improve his strategic resources, definitely wants to expand as quickly as possible to uh, get bigger. Yeah, Sabuga, Pen Brush and Voice Golden Age, 10 Science, and 50 Culture already on 5 Cities Greece. We do have uh, him also getting some traders out and uh, uh, getting his uh, horses on the way. I'm actually quite curious if he's going to go and try to uh, attack a little bit uh, Spain. Uh, 
create some discomfort over here or uh, is he gonna do something else like take Pesla for example on the western flank he does have his Gavro Plaza placed between two of these Acropolises and trying to max out as much as possible their adjacency Pingala is being deployed to the city of Knossos while Moshe is deployed in the city of Sparta what is she but it's gonna allow him to grow a little bit bigger and uh, get those uh, amenities with the housing in I don't notice Mr. Toast 13 science and 21 culture. He does have a little bit more science than Rom Rom. And, uh, well, he could have had against Leech, but no. Uh, we do have him with the fourth city being settled quite far in the south, where Zanzibar is also there. American. Oh! The American Empire is gonna take Zanzibar. And if this American Empire, in particular, is actually gonna discover a swordsman, or I would say iron, uh, iron working, he doesn't have iron working, he might get to lay and then attack the Japanese uh, settles from the south you can imagine with those two warriors here getting to transform into swordsman and hitting Sendai in uh, the span of a few turns that city is gonna be gone we do have um Mr. Toast here who's battling in two turns and by the looks of it he's uh, trying to fend off attacks with an archer now we might actually see the eagle warriors punching through that defense and taking down his Gavron Plaza there's uh there are other warriors come from the north I do want to say that he doesn't have the ability to go for a swordsman here and his cities are not that strong he's still gonna need a bit of time to uh, maybe chop those horses and i would imagine he's gonna require oh he has uh bronze working he has an encampment down from okayama but i would imagine he's gonna want a general here that's what i wanted to say and there we go so uh he knows okay he knows another archer has been uh revealed here plus five luxury attack bonus for the eagle warriors by the way we got um another point of damage there Manoi Sheep and Russian Boys Golden Age, she does have uh, 9 cents with 22 culture, 29 gold at 10 on Spain. And by the looks of it, he's getting his uh, four cities to build up his uh, lighthouses while he's uh, sending around the center towards the north. I do see uh, builders coming up from Cordoba, and uh, well, by the looks of it, no armies whatsoever. Uh, Sandro Games, 45 science and 40. Man, this guy is uh, he's playing a game by himself or something. 45 science and 49 guys what is this opening here <laughs> what is this opening he's getting a second general wait did he get he got a second general he got a military engineer he's building really the road for already he started building the road for those keshiks to go to aztec check check this out guys turn 36 and this guy is already building a road to his enemy um would he have plus five uh, comma strength as a uh, hojo on the coast i don't think he has as if i remember correctly he doesn't he does have the other bonus right uh tokugawa tokugawa international trade outs yes he does have this and i don't yeah he doesn't have any other japan has the old districts and then hojo will have the plus five comma strength so no uh, highway on highlands yeah i'm always amazed by how genghis players can have good stats yeah yeah i mean good stats until a point i would uh, like to ask if sandro's horses which are attacking granada have the fountain of youth bonuses i don't think so yeah i, I really doubt that he went so far off to his way to actually get them to the north and back out again uh do we see these bonuses they would have shown or i guess they would have shown up or something they should really make the bonus show up, to be honest. Anyway, it looks like we got sources coming up from Granada, which uh, do have some experience points together to get the first promotions. Uh, 20 strengths the cities from Aztec, and I do see uh, campuses are coming out from the Aztec cities with a horse uh, finishing up in two turns in the southern ones. Uh, we do have Mongolia moving his armies uh, through the river and uh, i would imagine he's gonna try to take out the uh, aztec uh, units on the way while i would also imagine byzantium might want to uh, get to poke against the cities of japan over here and aztec did manage to pay and to um, take out the unit defending or at least get the tile actually he didn't take the unit because this is the warrior right he got away but anyway he got that tile and uh, he's gonna get to pillage the cavern plaza of his opponent getting some uh, culture in the meantime we do have um uh, mr toe struggling to get off uh, his uh, 14 size uh, and 22 culture level uh, rob rom is gonna have the same pains here he's trying to get away with uh, getting a campus going while of course uh, mongolian units are bearing down on him he's gonna need to figure out a solution to defend against mongolia because this is not gonna be pretty 
exactly. I gotta say, Aztec does have a bonus towards building uh, mini units, and we've seen it so many times that the players do still choose to go for horses for their maneuverability, and of course for available resources, it's just much more easier, especially at the beginning of the game, to go for uh, horse uh, technology and of course improve some bashes here and there on your horses. Okay, we do have uh, more setters coming around from uh, Nubia, getting that ancestral hall finished does allow him to get the more production towards his settlers, and I do see three of them are gonna get out pretty soon of his series. He has a few of these Pitatis that uh, seem to be going towards uh, Sabuga. I'm pretty sure uh, Sabuga is gonna be ready with his own uh, units. Right now he is uh, getting them to attack the city of Preslav. You can see how he's trying to position them. So he swoops in at the last moment of the turn and deals the damage against Preslav. It's not like, you know, that city has a chance or something it's not like it's a human what is he gonna do Ch change production yeah but anyway it's a good uh, measure to have right getting prepared getting to attack from the proper uh, jumping spot and everything uh as they kill the archer there's a builder as they kill the archer there's a builder wait wait he did uh, he did kill uh was it an archer did he actually kill the archer oh my god he did actually kill the archer you're right and pillage the so for the um, for the price of a single eagle warrior montezuma did manage to get a city get an archer and pillage a gavron plaza i think that's worth right i think everybody can agree that's worth yeah, so they can kind of gouge when somebody is uh, getting ready for uh, war, yeah? Okay, we got warriors uh, coming around here from Mr. Toast. Looks like uh, Byzantium is sending a few horses from the uh, through the northwest of Takamatsu. He might want to get in. That is a place that Mr. Toast has an eye on. I do see the scout over here is giving him some information. But that scout really needs to get onto a hill because he probably doesn't see that much, to be honest. Like looking at this vision, you see he's do he doesn't actually see much. Anyway, uh, we do need to see how he's going to evolve here. Five series Byzantium is definitely starting to uh, jump ahead of his uh, next opponent the mr toes and i do notice mr toes just doesn't have time to get another city out if he would have just kept that city or uh, managed to get uh, next to wuling yuan totally different uh totally different dynamic of the game here rom rom is going to get the settler on the other side of the volcano of ixtapaluca and i would imagine he's also going to be mad when those horses of um, the mongolia are going to make their appearance felt in his cities he, these are going to be quite strong units to deal with and especially since they do have a general and the mongol horde extra plus three damage uh they are doing quite a bit of a splash here and oh my god he's seeing He's still trying to get a campus in three turns. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, does he have time? Boom! One trader being taken out. Sandro Games doesn't spend any second extra. He's actually going to take that uh, unit away from him. And of course, uh, get the gold and reap the benefits. Uh, we got Sandro Games moving in from the northwest with another horse. Deployed to try to uh, get some pillages on the campus. I do notice, of course, the horse inside of the city of Istapaloka is pushing that city's defense to 38. And it will make it that much more harder for these horses to push through. Now we do need to see when the next wave of uh, horses are coming around from uh, Sandro Games. He's uh, still building that military, uh, using the military engineer to build the pathways. And you can see he settled Almanik on the other side of uh, the river. So it makes it that much more easier for these horses to uh, cross. Uh, Aztec is getting swarmed. Yeah, so that puts more emphasis on getting timings right. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, the city alone is 40 production archer is 30 and um great people repair oh 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 you mean uh yeah the charge repair is like seven lol when you make a five spelling mistake in five words uh they kind of you know, when someone is getting ready for war yeah yeah well, one of the pieces of information that you do have available for you when it comes to somebody going for war, first of all, you can easily take a look at the great general points. If somebody is making great general points, there's a very high chance they will want to go to war against somebody. It's not only for defensive purposes. That's quite an investment that you make uh, to uh, do an army, right? And then uh, the second thing that you need to take a look at is the military strength of an opposing nation. Uh, over here, Central Games does already have 300 military strength. That is very big. You can imagine he's definitely up towards somebody here. 
And that is exactly what's happening. He did manage to get the builder here from his opponent. It is a three charge builder and he's going to start getting the mines away from him. I'm pretty sure Rom Rom cannot attack back into these uh, horses of Mongolia. It's just a matter of time until Mongolia is going to discover his uh, stirrups and going to get access to his Keshex. That is going to be a critical moment in the game, which uh, I think Aztec might pay with his empire. Uh, we do have uh, also Japan managing to get a general here in the city of Takamatsu. He's also getting Mistocles is a great admiral. This is the one with uh, the quadrim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's extra defense for the city center if you can keep it alive. Uh, we do have in the north, uh, storage just happily seeming away, getting a few more holy sites and building up his libraries. Also, finish pyramids for an extra builder and the charges on each of his builders. Uh, doesn't need to worry about that much the southeast, especially since he knows that Japan has been uh, significantly slowed down in the game's uh, uh, tempo. I would imagine Mr. Toes over here is going to take quite a bit of time to get on the same level as uh, future Distoria here because Distoria def definitely doesn't have his setup yet. We do have uh, more of these um, builders being bought over here with faith in the Byzantium nation and I, to be honest I don't see that many units being uh, trained in his cities to make use of that uh, initiation rights. I would have imagined he's... Uh, well, it is what it is. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, Greece took over the city of Preslav, Nubia is trying to attack him with a few archers, not gonna happen, uh, this is gonna be fine, we do have uh, entertainment complex coming up from Gnosos, and I do notice he's getting another wave of builders and archers, he started rolling on these uh, great uh, writers, and I'm pretty sure he's actually the only one doing it, the writers, oh, Nubia is 1-1 uh, also, so Greece is on already on 5.7 points a turn, we do have uh, Nubia on 1.1, okay, it looks like also Byzantium is trying to snatch that uh, audience chain okay what's going on here because this is uh, uh oh is that city gonna die that city kind of looks dead wow okay i mean this horse definitely doesn't have enough production uh, promo um, experience to get a promotion but he can still sacrifice his uh, life against that city center to slow it down uh, more uh, the city is not being able to be put out of the siege because of the lake tile and the central game uh, does have uh, three horses that he could hit it next time this city kind of looks dead to be honest like th there is enough on this unit and this unit to put it to lower than half like you see there's still some movement some attack left here there's not enough on the Aztec units to attack in the, into these units and take them down uh, in sequence and also the city strength is going to be lower okay let's see oh he didn't attack oh kick okay, w I didn't see this uh, extra one. This is pretty good. Oh, more horses getting into the lands of Aztec and pillaging his tiles. His commercials are burning here in Terochitlan and Tlacopan while the city of Vista Paluca is having a barbarian problem here in the form of Mongolian units. We do have an invasion, the big invasion of the Mongolian Empire into the lands of Aztec. Rom Rom is seeing units pouring through his borders from everywhere. We got the, oh my god, the third general being picked up by Mongolia. Okay, my. okay now we do have the heavy chariots uh, starting to get out of his uh, production queues. I would imagine he's going to keep them for a few nights. And when the night hits, uh, well, Rom Rom, you can imagine he has problems right now. Uh, he's going to have bigger problems when those nights, nights hit. And uh, lo and behold, the city of Ixtapaluca is uh, down to 6 out of 200 HP. Oh, that is going to be such a big loss for him. Yeah, World of Strong coming up in the city of uh, Tokyo. We got God of the Four Choice and that's a Pantheon for Mr. Toes. While I do notice uh, this story is actually sending his units towards Kabul. That's quite far away from his territory, but he does want to take away... Uh... Wait, that is his city. What? Where is he going? Is he actually going Spain? With three horses? He might be going Spain with three horses. Um, did Aztec have vision over Mongolia's position northeast of his uh, empire? Yes, yes, he, he knew. He knew. Yeah, he knew. And I believe... Uh, yeah, he didn't manage to scout uh, Granada and Al Malik. He did knew that Granada is being taken out. He didn't know that Granada is being taken out by Mongolian horses. And uh, he also had uh, visibility over here to the south of Al Malik. Uh, of, like two scouts were here and one of these uh, eagle warriors. That's uh, yeah. 
Uh, where Sandro gets so many stats in Ferrum uh, 92? Well, uh, first of all, uh, big spice settles at the beginning of the game. Amazing open sky. Temple of Artemis uh, going for Korakoro, adding some more uh, happiness devil. And then we did see him getting a triple wham bam of campuses here next to his guy from Plaza. Yeah. I mean, look at look at these juicy campuses. Look, look at this plus 12 here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you might as well use the bonus uh, until it's gone, right? Oh, my God. Wait, is Rom Rom going to lose his army as well as his city? Because there are only like two units that are high HP. Okay, another one came out, I guess. <gasps> Woo! He even captured one. Oh, hello, new horse. Uh, welcome to the army of invaders. Uh, we do have cookies and uh, we will await you at the bar. I guess he just uh, he was just a bit too slow. He was already building horses when he got hit by the first wave. Yes, yes, he was. Uh, he maybe he underestimated how fast uh, Mongolian horses would get to him. Uh, to be honest, this is not an easy um, city to. Uh, no, as how to say, not an easy land to pass through, but I would imagine uh, knowing that Mongolia does have extra moment and uh, seeing that he has a general, I would imagine he would have thought uh, it, they would bear down on that city as soon as possible. Yeah, he doesn't even have a spy yet. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Spain has like no army. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's, he's not even considering he's going to get hit. Yeah. We do see that uh, Ristoria is trying to get uh, these units to the west side here. Uh, and uh, he only sees a sliver of the borders of uh, Spain, by the way. He doesn't know about the north, but he, I think he knows there's a city here. You can see the borders uh, snaking around there. And there's the, no split in the water here. So I would imagine he knows. Okay, we do have uh, units of Sabuga starting to uh, bounce against the units of uh, Nubia, doing some damage there, nothing impressive. It looks like nine months until the next World Congress with the multiple theater squares and amphitheaters finishing up over here in Sabuga's territory. I'm pretty sure he's just going to keep on going higher with the culture. He's uh, next door to Spain and I'm pretty sure he can actually withstand Spanish attacks. Uh, Shunzu though is to his northwest side and there might be a two versus one uh, warfare here. But uh, yeah, this is going to be dangerous, especially if Mr. Toast to, from his east side dies uh there will be quite a bit of splatter on the wall here sabuga is uh wait whoa, whoa, whoa. sabuga is uh, wait manushi is his ally right manushi is his ally so to north north it's only nubia it's only nubia that's gonna be dangerous nah it's not dangerous it's fine it's fine i mean shunzu is gonna take quite a bit of time looking at his build to actually get the armies going he doesn't have a general for them uh you already get some more points it's fine it's fine like more points of damage from his cards it should be fine the first city of uh, Aztec has been taken down. Ixapaluka is uh, lost to these Mongolian horses. And Bustius, good evening, sir, and welcome, everybody. We do have a game tonight for you. The winners of the Silver Farm Squadron Season 12. Yes, you heard that right. 12 seasons. These boys actually did 12 seasons. Uh, are playing tonight against Holiday on Highlands. You can see on the left side of the screen, Lee, Jerome, Rom, Shunsu, and Historia. These are the champions. Team Ulysses going against Sabuga, Mr. Toast, Manuji, and Sandro Games from Holiday on Highlands. And in looks like with a twist we got sandro games not ex ex uh, not uh, accepting the outcome that ulysses is the uh victor in the civil fire squadrons and he's taking down one player at a time team ulysses look at that he's now working chewing on rom rom's empire with horses from genghis khan Boost you. Hello, hello, sir. Big one, big one. Yeah, we're doing a lot of things, man. We're doing the Mongolian way here. That's that's how we call it. Oh my God! Look at the next wave. This is beautiful. I gotta say, have you seen this? Have you seen the tempo that uh, Sandro Games just did over here? Unbelievable. Like the sequence of events. This is unbelievable. He's getting these heavy chariots at the correct, well, at perfect moment in time to get the first Kishiks out and follow them onto the battlefield about to finish his roads to the flat tiles that would allow him to connect his empire with a direct pathway to his opponent empire this is unbelievable like the amount of things that just got uh, synchronized here in his empire is amazing yeah 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 we got night we got a lot of stuff coming man we got a lot of stuff coming 
If you guys don't know Boostius, you should definitely check him out on the stream. By the way, big shout out to the man over here. Let me uh, get out the shout out uh, button. Uh, I think this. There we go. Yeah, big one. Thank you so much, sir. Ixtaba, uh, how long are, think are they thinking before you lease concedes to Sandro? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. How long will they take to concede to Sandro? <laughs> we got Mongolia here getting into the borders of uh, Sochikako. He did pillage a few mines uh, and I do see Tenochtitlan is... Uh, oh, did he just lose a production point? I mean, that city is gone next turn. There's no way that city survives through the next wave of attacks. There's no way. And all, anyway, he did have a catapult with his army anyway. So it looks like we might actually have a turn 55 uh, win over here, or at least a 4 versus 3 situation, because it looks like Rome Rome has no way out of this. There is a possibility that uh, America might actually get some armies. But America is next on the chopping block. I mean, there's no way you're going to stop the next wave of uh, knights and uh, kishiks coming around. Look at look at these knights. They're not even... Oh, my God. Look, at, they're spreading out. You know what this reminds me of? Do you know that the meme with uh, the cute dogs, uh, the beagles coming out of the trunk of a car? Give me a second. Look, look, this one, this one. This is what reminds me of. They just got let loose. Woohoo! Run, my boys, run! <laughs> you know, they got let loose. Unleashed onto the unsuspecting players of the Civilization VI world. Man. Let's see. Tenochtitlan over here. There we go. Being taken down. We got Rom Rom pushing in. Taking the... Oh, losing the capital city, actually. We do have uh, Mongolia pushing in. Uh, Rom Rom. And uh, he took out uh, Tenochtitlan. Gonna finish up with Tracopan and Xochicalco next. While those cities are trying to get walls. You can see how he is uh, slowly gonna make those cities work for him. We do need to see how fast he can actually uh, do the damage here. Of course, uh, getting more units uh, or um, uh, getting more builders from Aztec is... is also gonna be a preferred option here if he can do it i'm pretty sure these knights can actually punch through the defenses of tracopan even if they are walls and i'm also sure that the catapult will help out uh, um, quite a bit there quite a bit okay we got some knights going towards the new york that city is only 17 defense strength and Leech is putting out spearmen on the defense i gotta say these are uh, gonna have a limited amount of uh, uh, defense against the kishiks they are the correct units to defend against the kishik of course with the tree of development into the pikemen into the pike and shot but even pike and shots uh, even pikemen will succumb eventually to the amount of uh, kishiks shooting at them it's just a matter of time or units that are attacking whoa 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 we got an attack mr toes is not gonna go down without a fight and he's putting his units against byzantium here byzantium 39 science and 43 culture does leave him without an economy and by the looks of it mr toes is uh, quite lower uh, 24 and 41 we do have him also with 82 production versus distoria's 92 we do have a victor established really quickly in the city of thessalonica so byzantium can get some extra defense in there uh, reacting with uh, so many archers being put into the production queues we don't need to see if he, his units are gonna get to save him here he's uh, gonna need to get to a higher strength unit to defend against the samurais because these are very very strong it's 58 attack strength units with a general while byzantium does not have a general and he has crusade on which doesn't actually activate on his own cities unless he loses them uh oh i mean i i feel like there's a bit of a chink in the armor over there Okay, let's see. Uh, so Chicago got walls. Sa didn't Sandro Games pillage enough gold to just buy out another catapult or something? I'm pretty sure he did. He pillaged so much gold and faith and everything. I mean. Okay, we got Keshex in production, getting his intelligence agency from Korakorum. I gotta say, uh, Leech is on 43 science and 70 culture. He should be well on his way to getting his own uh, spy pretty soon here. He's uh, putting down as many of these preserves as possible. And looking at his development, he is on 92 production. Uh, Sandro Games is only 86, but he does have 71 science with 57 culture. Definitely a strong empire. On both, uh, Definitely strong empires on both sides. 
with uh, Sandro Games, though, managing to take over the Empire of uh, Aztec, you can imagine one of the, his opponents will lose a military alliance. That's an extra plus five that he would have benefited from on attack or defense. And at the same time, he's going to give these cities to Mongolia. These are four cities that will be working full non-stop for Mongolia's empire. He's already at, uh, he already had five. You can imagine he's going to get nine if he gets, uh, well, he's definitely going to get more. He's definitely gonna get more, a hundred percent. Leech three turns away from getting his uh, military tactics, so he can upgrade his uh, spearmen into pikemen. While he's deploying, uh, while he's uh, seeing these knights get to his borders, we do need to see uh, how quickly he can actually defend, or if he can uh, stop these units from pushing through the city of New York. I do think so. I don't think it's that big of an issue to defend that city center. Uh, maybe Leech is going for a 10.55 culture victory. Yeah. I don't want to say I really like uh, Leech's production here. 100 production. Um, I do also want to say we got a lot more gold per turn showing up on Halido Highlands. Manuji is 64 gold per turn. Mr. Toz is 32. Sabuga's 25. While uh, Sandro Games is still uh, at the level point at uh, two gold a turn, since he inherited all of these tiles of cocos that he's going to need to uh, re improve, I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite happy benefiting from that extra gold per turn. Five gold points coming up from each of these tiles, that's amazing. We do have him uh, starting to hit the city of uh, Tracropan, getting closer to Texcoco, which is going to chop another settler next turn. Uh, desperately, Rom Rom is trying to stay alive in the game, getting his uh, settlers out as quickly as possible. We do have uh, four more turns until the next uh, Golden Age, and Leech is, uh, by the looks of it, going dark. 43 out of 45, Leech is going Dark Age, okay. We got Rom Rom going Dark Age, Shun Tzu. He needs 11 more points. That's quite a stretch over here to get the next Golden. Uh, we do have Distoria, also Dark Age, 61-62. Distoria is getting hit uh, quite hard by these uh, Samurais, and he's trying to defend himself with a uh, Swordsman. One thing I do have to point out, there aren't enough Samurais to breach through quickly enough. By the looks of it, uh, Byzantium has time to reposition, upgrade some of his units, get some crossbows on the defense. As you can see, he is uh, doing God's work here, trying to defend himself. Uh, did, all, did also manage to get the scientist Euclid. Anyway, uh, we do have Sabuga also 7 points out from getting his... Uh, golden age i would imagine he's gonna get it because he's gonna get this city next to crater lake that's a good income of uh, three points uh i'm pretty sure he should be able to get it maybe another one of these uh, writers i would imagine he's going through them very very quickly here seven points a turn he should be no he's, he's one point off kick anyway uh, Mr. Toes also 8 points out. Manuji is 42 out of 42. He needs 53. He needs 11 more points. Sandro Games uh, 3 points away. I would imagine he's going to get it. I would also imagine Manuji with Mr. Toes are going to get it. It's probably just a matter of... Uh, uh, points that we do not see and look at that lo and behold zanzibar is not standing still and he's attacking the city of sendai uh, looks like it wasn't levied and unfortunately uh, the units are not really pushing uh, japan as hard as they could but they're still uh, creating some discomfort over here okay a boat maybe for gorgo yeah yeah he can definitely get a boat from uh, sparta Oh, finally, Distoria's units uh, did actually manage to get to Akorunia. Yeah, uh, and uh, by the looks of it, his three horses are banging on the, the defenses of that city center, which is uh, having the benefits of galley inside of it. Next turn, he's going to get a horse, which is going to make that city garrison much, much higher, uh, making it uh, probably impossible for these horses to take that city, especially since it's not being put under siege. The access to a coast or a lake does nullify that uh, siege uh, mechanic. Intelligence agency coming up from uh, Madrid. Um, I do see he's getting some campus research projects. Uh, who did get... Uh, Hypatia. Hypatia was picked up by Nubia. Okay, he's getting an extra point of science uh, somewhere on his uh, libraries, and uh, somewhere he got a free library. 
We got him uh, putting down in camels here. I do see new commercials also getting out of his cities. He's uh, definitely very worried that he's not going to have the economy for what's needed, especially since this story is already minus 27 gold per turn. Shun Tzu is on 24. Rom Rom is about to die and Leech is only 19. It's not really well known that America is making, America, especially Bulmos, is making that much more points. And oh my god, the, the settler of Aztec has been discovered with his pants down behind the forest, behind the river. He is gonna try to run away on the horse now there is a mongolian horse that spotted that uh, settler he's gonna run him down send the information to the knights get the keshex on the board also look at that i mean just sandro games putting so much pressure on their opponents here making space for sabuga to just seem to win on his uh, victory 61 science 149 uh, culture from gorgo 110 production you at least won't have the gold. Yes, exactly. They, they won't have... I mean, maybe they will have the gold from uh, pillaging, like, maize... Uh, pillaging uh, maize tiles or uh, something. Give me a second. They might get the gold for him. How do you call it? Gathering. Gathering maize tiles. I don't think they have any more maize tiles, though. Yeah. No more maize tiles. They do have a crap tile, but that's more expensive than you get. So, no. Uh, somewhere else, maybe? No, Nubia trying to take Namadol, Manuji just playing around in the dirt. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, look, maze. One maze. That's it? One maze? He already chopped the other one. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that he actually has so little. Anyway. I gotta say there is a need for more units here at uh, Sochicalco. Rom Rom is uh, putting that city under siege, but he doesn't have enough forces to punch through the defense. He definitely would need some more. Uh, the good thing is he did manage to stabilize the loyalty pressure that was being uh, put on his uh, cities that he got from uh, Aztec. And uh, I'm pretty sure he can follow up with uh, maybe a catapult uh, over there to finish off the city of Sochicalco. He needs to keep working on Texcoco and also get into the borders of America while it's hot here. If he does manage to get uh, Cincinnati Cleveland and the wraps around to get Charleston this is gonna be a big win for him that's like half of the empire of uh, America and he yes he's working on the improvements right now but that is gonna hurt him so so much did he just take out the spearman I think he did he did he did okay did he just want then wait did he move off from military what oh no he has okay so he has the upgrade button but he cannot upgrade Oh no. Yeah. No gold. No gold. Maybe give him. Oh, there we go. He upgraded one. Okay. Well. I do notice uh, this horse is running away as uh, fast as his hoofs can carry him. And the uh, Sandro Games uh, units are not far behind. We do need to see how fast Excoco is going to be taken down. Because it looks like with the concentrated power of the Mongolian Knights, they did take out that first spike, man. <laughs> the sacrifice that America did to keep that tile. And it looks like the city of New York is again under uh, threat. Texcoco has also been taken down. Sandro has an open height to his, towards that horse and he just killed. By the way, I do want to point out what he did here. He killed the march style so he, it doesn't slow down the knight. But Romrom Rom will definitely be caught over here in the, in the marsh. Oh, never mind. Man, you cannot run away from Sandro. You know, you cannot run away from Sandro. It's like... I'm gonna clip this because... Oh my god, man. Give me a second so I can uh, clip this. We're putting this on YouTube. I want to point out what he did here. He killed the... Horse and he just killed... Horse just killed... I want to point out what he did here. He okay, there we go. I want to point out what he did here. He killed... You know, you can't. There we go. Uh, Golden Ages? 
Uh, eight points away, Robrom Darke. So, Leech is not getting his golden age. Robrom not getting his golden age. Shunsu not getting his golden age. Distoria not getting his golden age. On the other side, Sabuga getting his golden age. Mr. Toast getting his golden age. Manuji not getting it. And Sandro. Oh, wait. Everybody did get it. Never mind. Everybody got it on uh, HOH. That is. That is quite something. I gotta say. That is quite something. Uh, also, Sandro is always impressive. Yeah, uh, gotta get those big YouTube points for uh, voting HOH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. Whoever voted HOH, I do see eighty percent of the stream right here put into Ulysses. Wow, that can you imagine how much of a like surprise and the victory comes through. Oh, HOH being led in the front line by Sandro Gaines sword. He's going in and He's taking down his opponents. Rom Rom. Leech. And then he would have followed up with an attack on Nubia. Unbelievable. It's fast gameplay. Fast game coming up from Sandro Games. Oh my god. GG will play. Let's actually hear a little bit about the post game chat and the move here. And let's uh, take a quick pick. And I do want to uh, switch my uh, sound settings so I can actually hear stuff. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Big game, big game yeah yeah i mean uh who would have thought uh, runaway uh, mongolia would uh, kill everybody <laughs> i don't know i mean <laughs> i don't know he's had a very good spawn right so yeah, yeah. and uh, i think it's uh, maybe a bit uh, dangerous leaving that sif open even on this map i think it's a very good sif like for for second rotation or like on highlands as well to rel people yeah i mean any any civilization with uh, horse bonuses or unique units uh, is amazing on this one. So many mm -hmm, flat tiles, mm -hmm. you can cover land quickly. Like... Yeah, for sure, for sure. That was, I think Rom Rom was extremely surprised about <laughs> what happened there with so many units. Yeah, yeah, that was... Like, he wasn't really preparing for, like, getting pushed. He was, like, preparing... GG, GG. Yeah, GG. Mr. Toes, what happened to your city? Mm, then don't ask fucking uh, Settler into as well there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, Trinda, by the way, I have, uh, with Frink, I have most science in game. If it updates. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, I have free ink? Yeah, you have, in game. you have 39 science. It's without free ink, it didn't update yet. Come on, man. It's gonna be 80 science, trust. I don't believe you. I can put. Campus Adhesive card and easy top science. I need to send one more trailer as well. That's what happened to us. Hello. Hello. GG. Hello, GG. Sandro, nice spawn, by the way. GG. Thank you. And well played. Yeah, well played. It's good. It's good to see Sandro doing that. Yeah. But I wish he's gonna be in UDC. What the fuck? <laughs> Why against the UEC? It's not uh, uh, not the uh, point. That's what I want. You did not pick me Mongolia, you know? And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were thinking about Mongolia, Mapuche, but you know. You know, you bullied our Tokugawa, so we had to bully yeah. back. Yeah, and and still, you get to get back in the game. Tokugawa, best seven game. Tokugawa, Tokugawa carry this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh man. Trina, you see? Trina, you see? Why does Ho have 100% win rate to Tokugawa? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> the guy has a total god spawn. The biggest god spawn in the game is Toku, but still loses the city. Like, how is it a good sip? I don't know. But uh, it doesn't matter. We still win, you know? 100% win rate to Tokugawa. Yeah, because you carry it on Jengis and uh, for some reason, no, like. No. Uh, Who Toku carried, okay, okay. So what happened about the game? Because I was not very focused on uh, on that. I was saying to Rom Rom to put maybe some uh, city uh, on the coast to take the, the fight against uh, Rom Rom uh, against uh, Sandro. But mm -hmm. uh, so much tempo. I mean, uh, I I yeah, Sandro I completely got spawn. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, even the general. I wanted to get general at a point, and <laughs> and I was but there is no general more. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then I was quite surprised, so 
I don't know, but I think uh, aliens get uh, really late for us anyway. I we I have 40 culture, Google has 50 culture uh, on the pen brush. So yeah. we get alliance turn 35. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the and then Rom Rom is fighting plus 13, so. And I'm supposed to do medieval first. Yeah. I am like. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Six. Six? Hmm. Leisure, I have spy on you in two. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I see the thing. Plus but, uh, we don't have enough uh, enough money even for uh, to help. So. Did uh, Nubia go for this one? Plus 12, plus 20, plus 30, you know, <laughs> it's, it's the same. It's the same. Man. Where is uh, Osaka? <laughs> Where is me? Ah. Where is Ron? Ron? <laughs> <laughs> He's with uh, Osaka. Dude, I can't believe I didn't see the eagle so I had the scouts like around there the whole time and I didn't but see But you saw one, no? You saw one eagle. You, you, you saw one, You saw one, yeah. Yeah, but I thought it went down or something, I don't know. Dude, I was you... even popping Settler in two in that city. <laughs> Did you see me oh. uh, coming to your city, Spain? Oh, oh uh, uh, no, I saw it very late. <laughs> but yeah. I, I had Gully and uh, I was making yeah. horses. So. With the builder you saw, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, if the builder isn't here, uh, the city is boom boom. Boom boom. Uh, I think so. Mm -hmm. Because I can uh, I can wait uh, like uh, one more turn with my uh, that my third horse come, and then uh, you you no longer uh, regen that more you know. Oh no, I I saw with uh, with the Tau actually with builder and Tau like it wouldn't oh, have mattered yeah. the builder. You you moved on the tobacco and then I saw yours and then I was okay. like oh shit. Yeah, at the start I wanted to go on Cordway and I saw you did the uh, horse uh, to kill Kabul, so I was like, okay, I go north side, they won't see it coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to make horses earlier, but horses to Sandro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had initiation I rights, the card, so I, I wanted to horse spam card. horses also on you and Tokugawa, but uh, we didn't add another strategic. You have to run the card, guys. Horse card, I was running. So plus, uh, I have three horses, it's plus six, so 12, Warlord turn, plus two, 14 per turn, 14 horses. Trinda? Yeah? Did you like my plaza between my two holy sites? Yeah, yeah, I was <laughs> I was looking at it and I said, oh, next turn he has animal husbandry, so no more. No I, was more asking, setup. I was asking, like, can someone do a husband so mm -hmm. I know if I can put plaza or not but like no one was going for it and I yeah. was like I have Tokugawa next to me I want horses so fuck it yeah it's very sad and, uh, and lucky it was setup. here yeah feels bad yeah I lost maybe. a lot of tempo on it mm -hmm. yeah sure no, maybe someone should uh, open strategics first. Uh, if the opponents yeah, have but it's like we was all playing like greedy bastard, you know. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. It's asshole. Yeah. So you know, I think about my spawn. Uh, not good, bad, not bad. Spawn, yeah. I mean, Mr. Toast has the same, by the way. Or like, I, maybe... mean, I did load the game of Sandro turn twenty-five. He has yeah. done two settlers, one encampment. Two builders, and he has two turn left on Artemis. I'm, uh, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, it's good build order. <laughs> oh, I think he got uh, maybe a builder or. Uh, no, no, he got, got, got you. Got 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 you got build a hut, no? You build a hut. Pop hut. Pop hut. On, One pop uh, hut. Did you get build a hut or did you buy a builder? I build. I build all my builders, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You yes. Ah, okay. I think you could have bought the builder as well because. No, you, you buy the builder. Me. I'm not gonna do it. My team is not gonna buy me the. the... Yeah, yeah, I know. You bought the trader for Tokugawa instead, no? <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I made that trader, hello? Mm, did you though? No, we bought we Sorry. bought what trader to Spain, I think. Ma maybe by your warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, mean, I think warrior in the city is still dead, to be honest. Mm, if I had a turn earlier, I think Kelly is the only thing that saves it. 
Uh, if, you're wa if your warrior is in before we eat, uh, it doesn't fall, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, not, it, it's not siegeable. Yeah, because not siegeable. That's a hell as well, it. yeah, I don't think it will die, yeah. It's close, but it don't die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, GG guys. GG well played, have a good evening. GG, GG. Yeah, yeah, bye bye. GG. Yes. Where's... So there we have it. We heard from uh, both teams, and um, we did have uh, quite a bit of uh, both the god spawns over here. Also, Leech telling us that he would have wanted this to happen. You know, his team doing this, not the, their opponents. Anyway, we did go through this uh, game. Alade Highlands did manage to snatch this victory away from uh, Ulysse with a very impressive victory done by. Uh, would want to mention Sandro Games here. It definitely seemed like he carried this game. Thank you so much for everything. If you're coming up from YouTube, don't forget to throw that uh, like over there. And of course, uh, leave a comment down below the video. I will um, save these videos um, uh, standalone. Uh, it just takes me a little bit of time until I get all of the details there, including, of course, your much beloved chapters. Thank you so much also for the follows, for the subs. If you want to take a look at my schedule, you can find it out on uh, my Discord. I do get it updated as, uh, as soon as I know. There was a bit of a, um, how was I miss? happening in the last few hours but it is what it is we do have a tournament on saturday that's going to be the sicario esports escape from tarkov tournament um it is going to be way different content than we usually have this is going to be a tournament a very fast paced tournament that i'm going to play in it's going to take three hours on saturday at 1600 gmt uh, thank you so much for everything and don't forget to subscribe to the channel have a good evening bye bye, -bye.